always interesting to see what mutant creations are formed by combining two unlikely elements, such as the case with End of Nations, which finally answers the question, what would happen if you put a real-time strategy and MMO together? Well, End of Nations for us is truly the world's first world-class MMO RTS. And what we're doing is we're taking everything that we love about RTS games and we're layering in the great components that make MMOs great. So like massive scale and a persistent world. That's right, it all takes place in a persistent world that you can easily jump in and out of. So you might come home from work one night and you go in and you go to your base headquarters and you look at the world, you can see where all your friends are playing and then you can decide, hey, I want to go join my buddy and help him out. Don't worry though, there are still plenty of gaming conventions to make you feel at home. Like the comforting sensation of leveling up. Your commander starts out at level one and through battles you, you level up, you gain experience and you unlock achievements and you get to build yourself up and build up your talent trees and your skill trees. But then you also have a persistent headquarters that you can also build up. If you're not the competitive type, you can team up with friends to play against the game's AI. Our co-op PvE is something that we think is really, really cool because players can now team up and battle against the environment and battle against AIs. And what's cool about that, there's no losers. The number of friends you can play co-op in RTS games is usually pretty limited. In End of Nations, well, let's just say you can make a lot of new friends. We actually had 51 players playing simultaneously in a game across in the same map, all working together, doing cooperative PvE. If the gamble pays off, End of Nations will create an addictive new genre mashup. If it fails, it'll be just another RTS in the bargain bin at GameStop. Looks like we'll have to wait a while to find out what happens. We haven't announced the actual release date, but it is definitely coming sometime in 2011.